Hi, this is Gina with Aries Goddess Tarot, and this is a pick a card reading. Uh, this will be my last video for 2018. I can hardly believe it's almost 2019. Um, thank you for coming to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're a subscriber, thank you. I love you. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me keep my channel going. Um, also, for this pick a card reading, um, ask a question. Ask a, ask a question that you want an answer to, and then pick the pile that you believe has that answer. And you will um, see why I asked you to do that as I get into the reading. All right, hopefully you have had the chance to decide on which one you wanted. This is a general reading, so you might get more than one pile that resonates with you a little bit, but it it's all good. It can do that. All right, and as I get the rest of these out of the way, if you pick the first one, the first card is uh, from the Ascended Masters Oracle deck. And this one is Trust with Vishnu. And Vishnu um, is a Hindu god who works alongside other gods. Um, to help preserve the world and also helps you feel safe about your current life and your future life. Also, um, trust means if you asked a question, trust your instinct or trust, you know, the person that you're asking about. That was weird. Camera. Okay. And the tarot cards are from the Mythical Goddess Tarot deck. Up, oh, why is she upside down? All right. I don't know what's going on with my camera tonight. It's being kind of funny. All right. And the first tarot card is Athena, the, who is on the chariot, the number seven, in the Major Arcana. And Ath Athena is the Greek warrior goddess, and she is going for it, isn't she? She's just going for her goal. Got her eye on the prize. All right. Next, we've got the Crone of Seas, the resurrection card. And she's in some murky waters there. And she helps you through the murky waters of your life emotionally. And helps you with emotional renewal and resurrection then we've got the mother of fire the regeneration card and she helps re regenerate your vitality and your revive your willpower and Reminds you to ha of your own power. But yeah, regeneration of willpower, vitality. And then we've got the Five of Fire, which is the conflict card with dragons fighting amongst themselves and all tangled up and breathing fire at each other um but this card usually represents inner conflict more than it could be conflict with another person um a lot of times it represents inner conflict though trust your intuition though whatever you're asking about trust trust your intuition Go for your goal and resurrect that emotion, your emotions, 
your good emotions and regenerate your willpower and remember your own power within you and don't have that conflict within yourself trust next we've got um an archangel card here <laughs> you know what to do archangel uriel trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay and he's got that light for you you know what to do trust your intuition all right and then we've got an archangel michael oracle card and this one says go forward fearlessly my prayer thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hand giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose and then one more we've got i got a isis oracle deck here and all the backs are different so that's the back of it and then the guidance on it says soul retrieval isis healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval claiming reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma old and new soon you will enjoy greater wellness energy and power so be willing to go through the healing process knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to wholeness can we say wow so if you picked the first pile here definitely trust your instincts and go for your goal all right and then for the second one here <clears throat> the first card is yes so if you asked a question your answer is yes whatever that question is and it's got Ganesh on it and Ganesh is the Hindu elephant headed God who is the overcomer of obstacles and helps clear paths what are you going for go for it the answer is yes and for the first tarot card here ooh, the ace of fire I love aces aces are always good and the ace of fire is the illumination card which is clarity coming to you like a lightning bolt <laughs> you are getting some illumination and this also helps burn through any illusion so that you make sure that you're going in for the right thing, I guess. All right. Then we have the Three of Earth, which is the works card. Now this, she is a symbol of just balance and beauty with all her chakras aligned there. And the works is means that you're moving in the right direction and you're making a difference in whatever you're doing you're moving towards your goal you haven't reached your goal yet but you're going in the right direction and you're on the right path next we've got the maiden of seas which is the passion card she's got a passion flower in her hand above her head and um Reminding you of the passion in your heart. Um, with the water pouring out of her heart there. Um, and just remember, you know, keep the passion in your life. Whether it's <coughs> of love or of a passion for a, a business or a job or whatever it is. And then we've got... <laughs> 
the zero in the major arcana, which is the full card, and that is Uzumi. And Uzumi is a Japanese goddess who made the other gods laugh with her dancing. Um, and she just is reminding to have childlike, you know, freedom, expression, have fun, have fun, have fun. Even though you're going for a goal and you're working hard, don't forget to have fun. And then for the Archangel card here, we have peace. Look, she's got a dove. Archangel Shamul says, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And then for the St. Michael Oracle card, we have New beginnings and a fresh start. My prayer. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Please fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. This is powerful if you pick number two. And then for the Isis Oracle here. Her guidance says, Spirit of Isis. Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems. Let her inspire you believe. If your question was about a new job or starting a new business or something like that, yes, <laughs> here's your answer. No matter what your question was, your answer is yes. Might even be about love, a new love relationship or something. I try not to get into too much love predictions in my readings and though I can do them personally which I love doing personal readings but uh, that could be that could be a love one all right so if you pick number three the first card is fertility with pan Pan was a Greek deity of nature, music, and fertility, and he made that that pan pipe. Um, and the fertility can mean starting new projects, where you have fertile ideas, or it can mean having a baby. All right, and then we've got, for the first tarot card... The Four of Earth, which is the Boundaries card. Those uh, goats and that mandala there are protecting you in that mandala and reminding you to just remember your boundaries. And there might be some people that need to be kept at an arm's length. Then we have the Eight of Earth which is the nurturance card. Now she's nurturing her garden there. So this is not only to, um, reminding you to like nurture Mother Earth, but nurture your ideas. You got a new fertile idea, nurture that idea. Then we've got the Six of Seas, the pleasure card. And her heart's open there. And she's radiating in the sun and hanging out and feeling good. And just open your heart to the energy and the pleasure of life. Have fun. Enjoy yourself while you're nurturing your new ideas. And then we have the Five of Seas, which is the cleansing card. And guess what? 
Frogs are another symbol of fertility. <coughs> um, but the five of C's is cleansing, which is emotional cleansing. Um, feelings of grief or guilt. And a reminder to stay centered. And you can get emotional cleansing through water. So you can take a hot bath and just kind of meditate or get in your own little world or get take a hot shower or lock the door, lock the kids out and just take a deep breath. All right, and then for the Archangel card, we have Spiritual Understanding. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you historic information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. You see all that? For the St. Michael card, we have huh, positive thoughts create positive results. I am a very strong believer in that, personally. My prayer Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is writ within every person and situation. Your fertile idea is positive. Keep positive thoughts about your fertile idea. You have a fertile idea if you chose this this one, I feel like. All right, and then for the Isis card, we have this on the back. And the guidance on this one is Mother of Life. When life seems dry, depleted, filled with repetitive tasks, or simply stagnant and stifled, Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to revive even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances in your life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave. Open your arms and receive. Wow. Well, you got some positive stuff coming in your life with, with your fertile ideas or, I said, it could be children. All right, and if you chose number four here, the first card is right with it's i forget how it's pronounced it's not it's like thief um he was an egyptian god of writing manifestation astronomy and arts and hey write your thoughts down journal um writing can be very healing or you can just put ideas together that when you're you got a bunch of stuff in your mind you can kind of put it all together if you start writing all right and then the first tarot card here is the ace of c's ecstasy and she brings cleansing healing nourishment and abundant abundant emotional blessings you are getting emotional blessings maybe writing helps with those emotional blessings then we have the nine of earth which is the community card and you know, this means that you've probably soon will be or sh or have recently become successful in 
whatever work or volunteering or something. Um, because individual success um, brings new visions for the community. And when groups come together that are individually successful, it's unity. Um, and if they're in the same community, especially uh, new visions and stuff for that local community. And when people come together, goals happen faster. Then you got another ace. The ace of wind, the realization card. And she brings gifts of, of mental clarity and power and, and just look at all that light. Look at all that light. Mental clarity and be open to her realizations. You're getting some clarity, some ecstasy. Wow. Then we have the seven of seas. I don't know why my camera's being so weird tonight. The denial card. Now, see her in that Egyptian boat in death right attire with all those snakes